What's going on, y'all? Shigasi Paris. Today I'm in here doing sublimation print on 100% polyester cricket shirt. Show y'all how them t-shirts take ink. And I also like to know me and my squad. Shout out squad. You dig lifestyle, all things style. Mike T, say how you feel, TV. We started a Facebook group called Hashtag Squad. Custom t-shirt print and more, man. I'm going to put the link in the description. Y'all come join us. We're going to make this a great thing and just continue this movement. Appreciate y'all. That's all supporting. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Seek Paris, 12 Gone Apparel. See y'all in a second. 12 Gone Apparel, the dream in my eye. I be an example to myself in the tears that I cry. So I'm using a Cricut Infusible Ink T-shirt. They're 100% polyester. Um, they take the ink really well, but the thing I don't like about them is they don't run true to size. Like this is a 3X, and it's smaller than the 3X. So typically, if somebody wanted a 2X, I would give it to them as a 2X to make sure it fits right. Because they do, like I said, they run small in size. But they take the ink really well. They run about $9.99. Um, typically, but with these white ones, you can always find them on sale for $4 at Michael's. Even on the Cricut website, um, they'll be like $4. I'm going to press these wrinkles out right quick. But they'll be like $4 a lot on sale. So... But with these three X's, they messed up on my order one time. Sent it to the wrong address. I ended up getting a deal on it, and they um, I ended up it ended up costing me a dollar fifty a shirt. I think I bought twelve or thirteen at the time, and they averaged out to a dollar fifty a shirt after they gave me some money back for their mistake. So that was pretty dope. Um. So I just pressed the wrinkles out of it. Let me use my lint roller if I can find one. If not, I use this piece of one. I think I need some more. I need to go buy some more lint rollers. I have bought a bunch of them from the dollar store a while back, but. Oh, before I even do that, before I even do that, I'm going to stick this piece of paper, this piece of butcher paper in the middle. So in case the ink decides to press through, go through, this will catch it. I haven't done sublimation in a while. I've been on my vinyl kick, but... Sublimation is really, it's pretty cool. I'm going to be breaking out my cotton cells again to do something here soon too. So, I'm going to cut this out before I lint raw. <clears throat> my homeboy, he was sentenced to life in prison when he was 21. He's been in there almost 26 years and the board just recently gave him a release date so he'll be out in the next few months and he sat in there and he came up with this idea these weed characters based on the different strains of weed they got now Had somebody draw him up, somebody color him. He's trying to do a comic book with him. He wants to do a comic book he's having done. He wants to do like an animated series with him, but this is the Obama Kush. Obama Kush for president. Don't forget to put that on your ballot. Write him in, you feel me? 
So now I'm gonna go and get this. Oh, there it is. There's one. Just stick. If I can get this paper on, we're going to get this lint rolled. If I wasn't recording, this paper would come off so clean, so easy. So I'm going to just hit it with the lint roller. Times so that heat don't turn the lint blue under the press. My design. We'll bring it down about four fingers. Tape it down real good. Don't want no ghost in there for it to move, so I'm gonna put a good amount of tape on it. We're gonna be pressing it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Like a firm pressure. So I got that taped down. I'm gonna take you over to the heat press, and we're gonna. So we got the heat press. I did slip a pressing pillow in between. Um, I put this piece of butcher paper over top. 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Firm pressure. Yeah, these, these shirts, they take the ink pretty well, though, so it's worth it. I mean, especially when you catch them at that $4 deal. They also, Cricut also does a gray. I haven't tried those yet. Um, I just don't see myself spending $10 for a t-shirt to press on and try to resell. I don't see the profit in it um, yet, anyway. I don't, I don't do enough sublimation, honestly, to really know how to price it right um but but four dollars a piece i can work with that it's profit in that it's worth my time but this shirt man it's this is personal just to wrap my homeboy and send him a couple pictures of the shirt I did another one, but my paper moved. I didn't tape it down well enough, and my paper moved. And um, there's a line through it, but I will show it to you in the video. The moment of truth. close up of it sublimation is cool though I like it 12 going to peril the dream in my eye I'll be an example to myself in the tears that I cry